Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rick Godley. It happens to be Saturday, and this big blue building with the beautiful mural on it is the home of the Rustin Farmers Market. Godley works for nonprofits. This time, it's the Rustin Farmers Market. We're going to be doing some special attention, also going inside to see who wants to tell their story of who they are, what they do, why they do what they do, and then we're going to post it up. And this is why you bookmark atl-rustin.com www.atl-rustin.com also atl-lincoln.com why atl stands for all things local so we're going to be local nonprofits going to be local businesses local events local music makers music museums government issues uh, we're out here with the feet on the street covering for you so if you can dream it I can stream it and that is what we're going to do going into 2022 Rustin Farmers Market the uh, mural by the way behind me oh I need to get a um, I'm looking at the rendition Mike Eccles is gonna do for what's behind here at the farmers market but this is the mural painters of 2016 it is Nick Bustamante and Whitney Trisler Causey uh, did this beautiful piece of art and also they've done some others throughout the town of Ruston. So we're going to come across the street, get the camera, walk in, look left, look right, look left, look right again, walk into the Ruston Farmer's Market, see who's up for it today. And uh, let's see, oh yes, the uh, Holiday Arts Market's going on at the Norton Art Building, but that'll be for you to take advantage of next year. So ATL, all things local. I encourage you, get your feet on the street, get down to the Rustin Farmer's Market, which is right next to the historic fire station. ATL-Rustin.com is the website to bookmark ATL-Lincoln.com. All things local, so we are keeping it focused on the local here as we have wall greens and i know i am so tempted to talk about all things wall green we are uh visiting here this afternoon with matthew scott wall and his wife lauren matthew lauren hi how are y'all all right wall is the last name so let's just take it from there wall greens Tell us why you do what you do and how did you get encouraged to start doing that? We grow mainly microgreens uh, because of the nutritional value. They're uh, 7 to 14 days old at this age. They're 4 to 40 times more nutritious than the adult version of the plant. I got into it several years back whenever they had kind of uh, done research on microgreens to find out that they're 4 to 40 times more nutritious. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was making smoothies and juices and stuff. And I started growing enough to where a local grocery store was able to start supplying some and using it in their restaurant. Yes. Well, give them some props and praise because that's your channel of income as well. Who's that? For his Temple Family Foods. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Western Road, downtown Western sure Road. Sure enough, sure enough. They, they started us out and then we've moved on, you know, to add on more stores and restaurants. Well, in other words, the business is growing organically like the product, I would think, exactly. right? Exactly. All right, Wall Greens. Matthew Scott Wall, this is Lauren Wall. How did you two meet and what initially? Oh, there's a loaded question. I can, you want, who wants to go on that? Oh, uh, we met on Tinder, actually. Tinder, mm -hmm. Tinder. Yes. And so, okay, we won't go too much deeper in that. So tell me if this is like the proverbial little shop around the corner um, or you've got mail. So are you West Monroe native? Yes. Are you West Monroe? And so you went all the way out to the Tinder world to find each other. You lived around the corner from each other? Basically. I passed by her work every, every day, day, twice a day. <laughs> Would have never thought she'd be in there. All right, how long have you been setting up here at the uh, Rustin Farmers Market? We've been here since uh, October. We've been at the Western Row Farmers Market uh, this whole year, and then we've moved over to here yeah. since they closed the Western Row. How about other stops for you um, in between these two times as far as setting up for Wall Greens? Um, well, we're at Max in Western Row, and we're at Gibson's here. So, uh, good. Uh, but other than that, we're just you know at the farmers markets um, and restaurants. Just. So obviously, it's a commitment to make when you choose to go to the greens way, if you will. Talk about that because there's a lot of folks that have some questions, and they think, well, if I go that way, I can't. No, you 
you work this into your diet. How would you co coach or counsel somebody? Yeah, I, I would just suggest that you sneak it into your diets where, wherever you can. Like, put them in burgers, put them in sandwiches. Uh, we have spicy ones, like the mustard has a Dijon flavor. The radish has a kind of a peppery kick. And it's, it's good for salads, sandwiches, burgers. Broccoli tastes like broccoli, cabbage tastes like cabbage. It's just younger, more nutritious versions of the plant. So we put them in smoothies and anything you can. The spicy ones are good for omelets, tacos. You got an outlet over there at Fiesta yet? We, not yet. You will now? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I'd we'll, love to. We'll, we'll plant that seed in that soil. Please. Wall Greens, the micro greens. Um, website, can people find out more with newsletters, yes. etc.? How else? Find do out more at walgreens.farm, W A L L G R E E N S.farm. Uh, we got social media, Facebook, Instagram, you can find us on there. Do you get any letters uh, from Walgreens, the other, completely the yin and yang of what you're doing? But we won't go there. <laughs> not yet, not yet. We get uh, missed calls from people trying to call them with uh, a. <laughs> Those missed calls yeah. are great opportunities for you to educate exactly. folks into, it's kind of like I was over there at Ben's Bodies Basic and he's got all organic deodorant and folks don't realize they're cramming aluminum in their armpits right where the glands are and I right. wonder why I'm getting all this cancer and stuff. Exactly. But I ain't offering any medical advice exactly. here. I'm exactly. Just, I'm so, not making any claims. Here. No, just, no, 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 no. Um, but I, I dare say you got some knowledge and you're willing to teach and share it with the community. Have you done that yet? Yes, uh, we've done a few little uh, classes here and there. We, we've uh, gotten talks with Western High School about maybe doing a little bit of education there with their Good. kids. So um, hopefully we'll be doing more educating soon. Well, I mean, I'm glad to stop by here because what I like to do is maybe this is episode one, call it an introduction. And then we can set up and uh, do some more classes, education. If you have any questions or comments, um, feel free to d address them here at Walgreens. What's the uh, email or the website? Or I mean, uh, that's where they can yeah, at text the, uh, Instagram. At the uh, website, Walgreens.farm. You can email Walgreens Farm and Seed at gmail.com. Oh, rustic decor. Where is the rustic decor? We didn't decor? bring any. Uh, oh, sometimes we, didn't. we normally have like um, you know crates and wooden things like that. Just, Awesome, awesome. Trying to really showcase the microgreens here. Give you a free sample, let you taste it before you buy it. Cool. There's different flavors. All right, well, I was going to about to say goodbye, but there's some. I'm going to say goodbye now, hopefully. <laughs> all right, Matthew and Lauren, thank you so much for uh, taking the time and visiting with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, all the reason to bookmark atl rustincom atl lincolncom uh, hashtag ever local be if you can dream it i can stream it rick godley will stream you later